Now let's talk about linear speed and angular speed. What is the difference between the two? What's the difference between linear and angular speed? What would you say? Linear speed carries the idea of how fast you're moving forward. Angular speed tells you how fast a something is rotating. So let's say if a car is traveling forward, you would describe its speed in terms of linear speed. The car is moving 40 miles per hour east. In that case, that's linear velocity if you add direction to it. Angular speed has to do with rotation. Let's say if the disk spins at 30 RPMs, 30 uh, revolutions per minute or rotations per minute, that would be its angular speed. Linear speed can be calculated in terms of a circle. It's the arc length divided by a t. Perhaps you've seen this equation in physics, d is equal to vt, or d equals rt. If you solve for v, it's distance over time. Since we're dealing with circles, the distance around a circle, or a portion of the circle, could be described as the arc length. So v is s over t. Angular speed is described by the symbol omega, which looks like a w. Omega is equal to the angle theta divided by t. So linear speed has units such as meters per second. It could be feet per second, miles per hour, or even kilometers per hour. Those are some common units of linear speed. Angular speed is basically the angle divided by the time. So it could be degrees per second. Let's, uh, let me put like the little degree symbol per second. It could be uh, radians per second, which is more common. And even uh, revolutions per minute, which can be described as uh, RPMs, if you see that. So those are some common units of linear speed and angular speed. So make sure you know these two equations. v is equal to s over t, and omega is equal to theta over t. Now, a lot of problems that I'm going to solve after this introduction, I'm going to use a conversion process because it makes everything a lot easier. Now, there's one more equation you need to know. Linear speed is equal to the radius times omega. That's how you can connect the two. Now, here's some conversions you need to know. So anytime you see the word RPM, use revolutions per minute. So 20 RPMs is 20 revolutions per minute. One revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. One mile is 5,280 feet. 0.6214 miles is equal to one kilometer and one kilometer is 1000 meters so those are some common conversion factors that you'll need and it helps to think of the radius as being the length per unit radian so let's say if the radius is five centimeters for these types of problems it's helpful if you view it as 5 centimeters per radian. And you'll see how I'm going to use it uh, later in this video. So here's the first example. A wheel spins at an angular speed of 8 radians per second. The radius of the wheel is 5 centimeters. What is the linear speed of the wheel? So the equation that connects the angular speed with the linear speed is this equation. V is equal to omega times r. Omega, in this case, is 8 radians per second. Now we have the radius, which is 5 centimeters. But I like to think of the radius as being 5 centimeters per radian. So we can cancel the unit radians. And we're going to get V in terms of centimeters per second. 8 times 5 is 40. So this is the linear speed, 40 centimeters per second. Now, a common unit for speed is meters per second. So let's go ahead and convert it into that. Now, you need to know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. By the way, if you got this answer, that's good enough. 
but sometimes they may ask you to convert to meters per second because it's very common. So here's what you can do. We need to cancel the unit centimeters. So we need to use this conversion factor. Let's put centimeters on the bottom so that these two will cancel. And we're going to put one meter on top. So 40 divided by 100 is 0.4. So the speed is 0.4 meters per second. So whether you write it as 40 centimeters per second or 0.4 meters per second, your answer is still correct. But you should always identify your units so your teacher knows if you have the right answer or not. Number two, a disc with a radius of 4 centimeters spins at 30 RPMs. What is the linear speed in feet per second? And use the fact that 1 meter is equal to 3.281 feet. So we're going to solve this problem by using unit conversion. Let's start with 30 RPMs. 30 RPMs is equivalent to 30 revolutions per minute. That is the angular speed of the disc. That's how fast it's spinning. In one minute, it makes 30 revolutions, or 30 complete spins in that single minute. Now, so what should we convert revolutions to? You want to convert revolutions to radians, because once you have radians, you could use the radius to convert it to centimeters. Now, recall that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. So using this conversion factor, where should we put 1 revolutions, on the top or on the bottom? We need to put it on the bottom so that the unit revolutions will cancel. And let's put 2 pi radians on top. Once you have the unit radians, use the radius to convert it to a unit of length. Now the radius is 4 centimeters. But for these problems, it's helpful if you think of it as 4 centimeters per radian. So the unit radians will cancel. And now we need to convert centimeters to feet. Recall that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So let's put the unit centimeters on the bottom so that it will cancel. Now we can use this conversion factor to convert meters into feet. 1 meter is equal to 3.281 feet. So the unit meters cancel, but we have one of our desired units, which is the unit feet. So we're not going to cancel this unit, we're going to keep it. The last thing we need to do is convert minutes into seconds. So because the unit minutes is on the bottom, we need to put it on the top. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So let's put one minute on top, 60 seconds on the bottom. So the unit minutes cancels. So the only units that remain are the units uh, feet, which we have here, and the unit seconds. So we now have the desired unit. Once you have it, you know you have the right answer. So now everything on top, every number in the numerator, will be associated with multiplication. Every number in the bottom will be associated with division. So it's going to be 30 times 2 pi times 4 divided by 100 times 3.281 divided by 60. So what I have is 0.41 two, three feet per second. So that's the answer that I got. So that's the linear speed in feet per second. Number three, a wheel makes 10 revolutions every four seconds. What is the angular speed in radians per second? So first, let's find the angular speed given the information that we have. The angular speed is equal to the angle divided by the time. The angle is 10 revolutions. The time is 4 seconds. So 10 divided by 4, this is 2.5 revolutions per second. Now let's convert that into radians per second. 
So we know that there's two pi radians per one revolution. And so the unit revolutions will cancel. And this will give us 2.5 times 2 pi. That's 5 pi. But as a decimal, it's 15.708 radians per second. But I'm going to write it as 5 pi as well, just to get to have the exact answer um, for part b. So now part b, if the radius is 0.5 feet, what is the linear speed in miles per hour? So let's start with this number, 5 pi radians per second, since that's an exact value. Now the radius is 0.5 feet. That means that one radian has a length of 0.5 feet. That's what that means. So we can cancel the unit radians. And now we have the linear speed in feet per second. So keep in mind, v is equal to omega times r. This portion of the equation, or of the conversion, is omega. And this is the radius. So once you multiply omega by the radius, you now have v, the linear speed. So all we need to do is change the units from feet per second to miles per hour. Now, if you recall, one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Now, we need to convert seconds into minutes and minutes into hours. There's 60 seconds in one minute, and there's 60 minutes in a single hour. So these units will disappear, and those units as well. So we now have miles per hour. So it's going to be 5 pi times 0.5 times 60 times 60 divided by 5,280. So this is equal to 5.35 miles per hour, or MPH. And so this is the answer. Number four. A bus has a wheel radius of 1.4 feet and is moving at a linear speed of 45 kilometers per hour. What is the angular speed of each wheel in RPM? So we have the radius and we have the linear speed. We've got to find the angular speed. So we know V is equal to omega times R, which means the angular speed is the linear speed times 1 over R, or divided by R. So we're going to have to divide these two, but we can't do it right now because the units do not match. If this was in kilometers, we can just go ahead and divide it, but we can't. But eventually, at some point, we're going to have to divide the linear speed by the radius. So let's start with V, the linear speed, which is 45 kilometers per hour. Now, because the radius is in feet, we need to convert kilometers into feet. Now we know that there's a, a thousand meters per kilometer, which I mentioned earlier in this video. And based on a previous problem, you know that one meter is equal to 3.281 feet. Every conversion factor that you come across, it might be helpful to write it down and just commit it to memory. So meters cancel. Now that we have the unit feet, we can use the radius to convert from feet to radians. So if the radius is 1.4 feet, that means that the length of one radian is 1.4 feet. If you recall, the definition of a radian is the radian is the angle in which the radius is equal to the arc length. And that's the measure of one radian. And to calculate the angle in radians, it's the arc length divided by the radius. So whatever the radius is, one radian is going to have a length of the radius. It just works out that way. So the unit feet will cancel, 
and now we have the unit's radians per hour. By the way, everything up to this point was v, the linear speed, until we divide v by the radius, which is 1.4, now we have the angular speed. So we currently have the angular speed in units of radians per hour. So anytime you hear the unit radians or revolutions, you now have the angular speed. But we need to convert it to RPMs, which is we need revolutions per minute. So let's convert hours into minutes. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So the unit hours disappears. And now let's convert radians to revolutions. We know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. And so the unit radians cancel. So we're left with revolutions on top, minutes on the bottom, which is what we want. And now we just got to do the math. So it's 45 times 1,000 times 3.281 divided by 1.4 divided by 60 and divided by 2 pi. When you divide it by 2 pi, if you're not getting the answer, make sure you put this in parentheses. Otherwise, your calculator will divide by 2 and then multiply by pi, which you don't want that. So the answer that I have is 279.74 revolutions per minute. Or basically, if you want to round it, approximately 280 RPMs. So that's the answer. Now, for the sake of practice, go ahead and try this problem. A truck with a wheel radius of 1.7 feet moves with a linear speed of 35 miles per hour. What is the angular speed of each wheel in radians per second? So we're looking for the angular speed omega. It's going to be the linear speed v divided by the radius. So at some point, we're going to have to divide these two. But we can't do it yet because we have miles and the radius is in feet. So let's start with 35 miles per hour. And let's convert miles into feet. So there's 5,280 feet per mile. So now that we have the unit feet, we could divide it by the radius. So the length of one radian is the radius, which is 1.7 feet. And we can cancel the unit feet. So now we have the angular speed in radians per hour. We need to convert it to seconds. So in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And in one minute, there's 60 seconds. And so this problem is actually shorter than the rest. But that's all you need to do to get the answer. So now we have our desired units, radians over seconds. So let's multiply 35 by 5,280, and then divide that by 1.7, and then take that result, divide it by 60, and divide it by 60 again. So you should have 30.196 radians per second. I'm just going to double check to make sure I typed in everything correctly. And that should be it. So that's the angular speed in radians per second.